earlier class we tried to understand the algal group the first group in the plant kingdom in this class let us see two more plant groups bryophyta pteridophyte bryophyta pteridophyte bryophyta the study of bryophytes known as bryology these are often referred as the first land plants all you are mostly aquatic grow in water they are not adapted for terrestrial life except very few but these are adapted to terrestrial life but with one condition moist soil moist like land amphibians of the plant kingdom they require land they require water just like amphibians of the animal kingdom amphibians of the plant kingdom means bryophytes commonly known as liverworts liver means uh, our liver the thallus will be just like the liver lobes hornworts the sporophytes will be look like horns mosses liverworts hornworts mosses grow in damp moist shady cool localities commonly in hilly regions these are not common in our surroundings generally we see these bryophytes in rainy season when there are continuous rains for 15 days one month on the walls on the stones in some places you can see these bryophytes multicellular thallus again thallus undifferentiated thallus means undifferentiated plant body prostrate or erect attached to substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids remember there is a difference between root and rhizoid both are functionally similar absorb the water and nutrient but roots are always multicellular well organized well differentiated but rhizoids are mostly unicellular or sometimes multicellular but there is no differentiation main plant body thallus gametophyte the main photosynthetic plant body is gametophyte it is thallus undifferentiated father of indian bryology kashyap shivaram kashyap 82 to 34 1882 to 1934 father of indian bryology he was in chandigarh university main plant body thallus gametophyte haploid again this is very important in bryophytes main plant body is a thallus undifferentiated it is gametophyte haploid n gametophyte produces gametangia and gametes gametangia gametes gametes are produced inside the gametangia gametangia multicellular male gametangium is known as antheridium club shaped just like our tennis bat it produces anthrozoids flagellated move in a film of water when moisture is available by flagellate female gametangium is known as archegonium a flask shaped structure here it is antheridium here is or flask shaped female gamete ovum or egg non motile ovum or egg none zygote undergoes mitotic divisions and produces 
deployed sporophyte or sporogonium or capsule some cell sporophyte some cells are sporophyte is deployed gametophyte is haploid this is basic uh, uh, concept gametophyte is always haploid sporophyte is deployed sporophytes some cells of the sporophyte differentiate into spore mother cells undergo meiotic division reduction division and produce haploid spores these haploid spores germinate and give rise to gametophyte bryophytes along with lichens primary colonizers for xerorc succession first colonizers if there is in ecology we will study xerorc succession hydrorc like that under dry conditions these are the first colonizer then one after the other one after the other up to the flowering plants or up to the forest stage sphagnum a bryophytic plant is used as a peat fuel packing material bryophytes three major classes hepaticopsida liverworts commonly known as liverworts because the thallus lobes will be just like the lobes of the liver Rixia, example, Marchensia, Anthoceratopsida, commonly known as hornworts, Anthoceras, Bryopsida, commonly known as mosses, liverworts, hornworts, moss, Phenaria, Polytrichum. Hepaticopsida, commonly known as liverworts. As I told you, the liver shaped thallus grow in moist humid shady places damp soils main plant body dorsi ventral dorsal side ventral side halide gametophyte asexual reproduction by specialized structures called gemme gemme are also seen in animals which animals porifera members product produced in gemme cups gametophytes may be monoecious or dioecious male female plants separate dioecious male and female gametangia are produced on the same thallus monoecious same house male and female sex organs produced on specialized branches called antheridiophores or chegoniophores so just like the flowers produced here also the male gametangia are produced on antheridiophores a stalk like structure then a, an umbrella shaped structure disc shaped structure similarly female gametangia are produced on archegoniophores antheridia or male antheridia female remember these are gametangia after fertilization zygote develops into sporophyte or sporogonium sporophyte or sporogonium so generation wise it is gamma sporophyte but it is just like a fruit body then it will be known as sporogonium sporogonium differentiated into food seta and capsule spore mother cells undergo reduction division produce haploid spores spores germinate and give rise to haploid gametophyte marchensia rixia so this is a marchensia you can see thallus dichotomous lobes these are gamma cups these are rhizoids, midrib region, thallus, dorsiventral thallus. This is gemma cup, gemme, lens shaped structures, stomata, air chamber, lower epidermis, scales. So, this is a antheridiophore, the longitudinal section of the antheridiophore. This is archigoniophore. 
longitudinal section in Mercantia. This is a sporogonium or sporophyte diploid structure. Here, foot, seta, capsule, the spores are produced. These are elators useful for dispersal of the spores. So this is a elator shown enlarged, useful for dispersal of spores. And this is a polytrichum. You can see old walls, mud walls, or wherever the, so, uh, the open places are there burnt previously, something has been burnt there. There also we can see this polytrichum. Cross section of the stem. Then this is polytrichum, male and female branches. These are you can see antheridia. These are paraphyses, the flask shaped archigonia, egg, the polytrichum capsule, a beautiful structure, sporogonium or sporophyte or capsule, ceta, apophysis, stomata, so a very elaborate structure. Here is sporangia, spores are produced here. Then pteridophytes, why the name pteridophytes? Because in majority of the pteridophytes, just like ferns, the leaves will be just like the feathers of a bird. Pteron means feather. In ferns, the leaves will be mostly like the feathers of a bird. That's why pteridophytes known as spike mosses, club mosses, quill warts, horse tails, ferns. These are the first successful land plants. First of land plants, we sometimes say bryophytes, but they are not successful. They do not grow in dry soils. But these are very successful land plants because they have developed the tissues, xylem, phloem, protective tissues, even dry conditions also they can survive. Vascular tissue, xylem and phloem developed. These are called vascular cryptogams. Among the cryptogams, in pteridophytes only the vascular tissues, xylem, phloem develop. Pteridophytes grow in cool, damp, shady places or sandy soils. Main plant body sporophyte. This is the main difference between the bryophytes and in bryophytes the main plant body is gametophyte but here it is sporophyte diploid. Differentiated into root stem and leaf like structures, true structures. The root has the root structure, stem has stem structure, leaf has leaf structure. Leaves may be microphylls or macrophylls, very small, minute. Spore bearing leaves are called sporophylls. Fills means here leaves. They, because they bear sporangia, they are called sporophylls. Leaves are two types, so normal vegetative leaves, sporophylls. Sporophylls bear the sporangia. They are meant for reproduction. Sporophylls are organized into compact structures called cones or strobili. The reproductive leaves, those are sporophylls, are organized into compact structures called cones or strobili. Selaginella equisitum. These plants may be homosporous produce only one type of spores. After reduction division, all the spore will be similar, homo similar, just like ferns, lycopodium, or heterosporous, megasporangia, microsporangia will be there. Microsporangia produce microspores. Upon germination, they give rise to the male gametophyte. Megasporangia, megaspores, Upon germination, they give rise to the female gametophyte. Selaginella, salvilia, heterosporous, megasporangia, micro. 
primitive type of seed habit. So the seed is seen in gymnosperms and geosperms. But here in some plants, we can see the primitiveness of a seed formation. Where heterosporous, heterosporous forms give rise to the seeds, seed like structures, not the homospores. Stellar evolution traced out in different species. Different types of pteridophytes are there. Then steel that contains the xylem, phloem, and in between the pith. There are different types of steels are there. Protosteel, haplosteel, then solenosteel. Like that, different types of steels are there. We can clearly see an evolution, variations in different uh, pteridophytes. So this is uh, some pteridophytes. So this is a uh, Selaginella pendant hanging down. Erect equisitum. This is the sterile vegetative branches, fertile branches. These are strobilus. The sporophylls are organized into strobilus or cones, differentiated into nodes and internodes. Equisitum. Then this is a marsilius, generally seen in rice fields, ponds, ditches, roadside uh, water bodies. Very common marsilia. So this is a uh, equisitum. This photograph I have taken in America, Alaska. You can see the vegetative branches. You can see the fertile reproductive branches cones formation. This is my own photograph. Then teres. This is a teres langifolia, teres vitata. Different species. This is prothallus gametophyte, heart shaped structure. Gametophyte. The spores upon germination give rise to a thallus, it is called prothallus or gametophyte. Then, then this is important, you can see here. Main plant body is a sporophyte, 2N. Here, it produces sporangia spores during spores formation, meiosis divisions take place. Look at here, megasporangia, megaspore mother cells, megaspores, female gametophyte, archegonia, female gametangium, female gamete or egg, and microsporangia, microspore mother cells, microspores, male gametophyte, antheridium, male gamete. The male and female gametes during fertilization unite to form the diploid zygote. Diploid zygote gives rise to sporophyte. Then meiosis divisions take place here. Megaspore mother cells, microspore mother cells. This stage, this stage, this stage, this stage, this stage diploid. These are haploids. This haploid and diploid stages alternate with each other. With fertilization, gametophytic stage ends, sporophytic phase commences. With meiosis, sporophytic phase ends, gametophytic phase begins. Thank you very much.